Well, you know, because uh, Virginia Beach is primarily this kind of skate and surf culture, it's um, a lot of the things that surround the people there um, are valued according to the, um, the, the, the brands, I guess. And so from a very early age, I, um, from a very early age, I was noticing how branding and logos and images on objects created or rather increased the perceived value of those objects. And so, you know, certainly while, while I grew up at the beach and, and, and skateboarding, I was never really good at any of those activities. But what I really, um, I guess, was good at to some extent was kind of emulating those graphics and, and logos because I couldn't afford the cool brands. So I would, you know, make my own shirts and um, paint on my own skateboards. And those objects, in turn, almost ironically, became valued by other people. And so there's a, um, I, I started to understand how that worked. And I wanted to assume that power. Um, and that's what kind of led me to my interest in graphic design. And so from Virginia Beach, I was in Virginia Beach from kindergarten through 12th grade. Uh, my father was a primarily computer systems analyst and was also a stockbroker for a while. And my mother did a variety of odd jobs. Um, and she also made a lot of things that she sold, a lot of crafts. You know, um, we had a garage full of uh, jigsaws and um, sanding belts and tools, woodworking tools. And so I was um, always in an environment of, of making things and creating things and furthermore making things for ourselves. So a lot of my toys growing up uh, were homemade toys, you know, cars made out of um, chunks of wood with uh, milk carton uh, lids for wheels and, and things like that.